Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Corridor Suicidal Endless and a bottle of water. good stuff that's good stuff I really liked the endless that we played yesterday and it felt bad just suiciding at the end of it so this time we're just gonna we're just gonna go you know we're just gonna go as far as we can go here and see what that is I'm tired I'm tired today I got a lot of work to do today as well. I have to get the uh, the Minecraft server set up. I don't think we're going to be playing on it today, but I have to get it set up today. I did promise them that I would have it today. So hopefully uh, I can do that. You probably won't actually play on it today. So it doesn't really, like, have to be done today. <laughs> I, I could put it off till tomorrow. But I don't want to procrastinate. I don't want to do that. I want to I have it up. I want to have it running. Make sure that nothing's going on. Uh, Gonna go wrong with it, and it's all functional and stuff, and then probably go to sleep. So, what's the daily Terraria update? I don't really have anything I can show you so much. It's been a uh, it's been a slow day mostly. I left the um, I believe it was last night that I left the pirate map farm running. It gets about 25 pirate maps an hour, and about three platinum an hour, so. Woke up dead, actually. No, I no, I did wake up in the in the ocean biome. I didn't die. It was it was a safe uh, a safe venture, I believe. Wasn't it? Or was it not? I don't remember. I may I may have died, I may have not. It doesn't really matter. Anyway, I woke up with a billion pirate maps and then I helped my mother set up her quest because she ended up buying Well she ended up taking the uh The, the spare quest of mine, I gave it to her because she seems to want it. I don't know. It was like uh, this constant back and forth with her. Like, I really want it, but like I'm not sure I'm able to afford it. And we have to like try and get this. I'm going to check my savings and yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, you really clearly just want it. And like I have the money to just do that anyway. So whatever. If you just want it, you can have it, I guess. She says she's going to pay me back like next spring or something. But... Um, But, uh, you know, whatever. It doesn't really matter, ultimately. So I uh, helped her get it set up. She had uh, she had fun with it. She got the uh, the Beat Saber demo and played a bit of that. Just going to try to get some mostly fitness stuff, but I, I imagine she'll end up getting some proper games and stuff like that as well. Although, honestly, like, the fitness stuff is, is really, really fun. Beat Saber, Thrill of the Fights, um... Box VR, whatever it is. Like honestly, all of those are really, really fun, and kind of what I prefer. Uh, Super Hot's really fun too, though. There's like racing games and stuff. There's just a lot of stuff. So I, I imagine she'll get some of that eventually, but uh, I believe she's using it primarily as a as a fitness thing. Anyway, so I helped her get that set up. Had some lunch. Played some Beat Saber myself. And then, uh, finally it got back to my computer. Maybe, I'd want to say, hour and a half ago, maybe? And uh, at that point, I was free to, to start working on some stuff. So I didn't really get much done today, honestly, in Terraria. I farmed up a, I found up a lucky coin. I converted my, well, I haven't, didn't convert. I continued progress, because it was always the plan. My uh, Halo biome arena. I got that set up to handle invasions, so I can handle the Martian invasions, the pirate invasions. Uh, can't handle blood moons or solar eclipses or anything like that, but the invasions... It's got those covered. I, th I think a goblin invasion would end up killing me, but... Uh, pirates and Martians are the ones that I'm particularly worried about anyway, so who cares, really. So yeah, I set that up, and then I farmed probably like 20... Pirate invasions. Um, probably, probably about twenty of them. Yeah, it's pr they go by pretty damn quick. Uh, so I found about twenty of them. Got myself the lucky coin finally. Think about the lucky coin is uh, it's a, it's a accessory that um, 
when when you hit an enemy, it drops a coin. So you can you can build a farm where uh, you just use a really weak minion and it gets a lot of hits off. And you get strong enemies in that can't hit you and they all just kind of sit there. The minion just keeps on like smashing like, you know, 10 of them at a time, every tick or whatever. And uh, you end up with a lot of coins. Uh, so this is... We can go for three, which would be, yeah, so three. I think that goes up to six, so nine. I think we can upgrade the M1911. Oh yeah, no, obviously, it doesn't even go up by weight. Duh. Think fast. Yeah. As fast as you can. So anyway, I got the lucky coin, and... You know, by the time you get it, after you've done hours, well, you know, I only really used an hour's worth of my farms. Um my pirate map farms maps to, to get it but uh, you know even even that's like three plat but I, I ended up waiting like a long time because I just slept with it right and that got me like 160 or 180 or something like that maps you know left it running while I was like, I have a, a lot of maps and it got me a, a lot of platinum as well and then the pirates themselves the pirate invasions that you have to go through to farm it are you know like easily one to two platinum per invasion. I did like 30 of them total. 20 just now and then uh, 10 the other day. Um, which is like a lot of platinum. So it's like, you know, by the time you actually get the lucky coin, you don't really need a, a money farm. <laughs> you know, it's not really necessary to have a, uh, to have a money farm after you get a, uh, a lucky coin. But, you know, I, I want to have it. It's it's on the list of things to build. It's a money farm is another thing to build, right? Like I don't need the money, but building one would be fun. Designing one and adding it to my world. I just I love that kind of stuff. So don't mind if I do. The world is starting to come along, though. Starting to. I'm starting to ever so slightly decorate and uh, fill in a lot of the holes and stuff like that. There's still a lot of work to be done to get it uh, done, know. you know, but uh, progress is being made, which is, is good, of course. Uh-oh. Yeah, I, I know you're there. I don't like anything that's happening right now, for the record. Yeah, this is this is like why boom sucks, dude. Like we're not gonna die to it, but like it's brutal. It's brutal as. Give me my dual deagles, please. And we'll just pop to the deagles. We don't really need M1911s for these. So I'm starting to starting to decorate some stuff and, and build some things. I'm starting to worry about uh, pylon networks and like getting the houses built and all this kind of stuff, you know. Actually, I, I prefer this honestly for this. Um, just because it's smaller, it keeps more and more my screen is able to see crawlers. <laughs> Whereas with this, more of my screen is covered. This just gives me a slight advantage. Not in a fire rate, necessarily. Well, fire rate like this is fine, but... You reload more frequently, and the reload doesn't really take that much less time, you know? So it's nice. It's, uh, it's nice to be at the point where I can start to worry about uh, decorating stuff and... All that. I got a flying mount, finally, so I can actually decorate these huge holes and... So that's the thing early on, right? Like you can you can dig a big hole early on in Terraria. That's not hard. You buy a bunch of bombs from the, the demolitionist, and you, you bomb your way to victory, right? Set up some dynamite uh, arrays if you want to get super fancy about it, and just one big explosion, and boom, there's your big hole, right? Every every seven blocks, I believe, is is what you want to put a, a dynamite or a, not a dynamite, but an explosives. Like the, the, the block itself that you can wire up. Put them every seven blocks. I believe it just destroys everything in the area. So it's seven blocks of space in between, rather. So every eight blocks, I guess. Anyway. 
Uh, if you do that, then it just destroys it all. So, like, digging a big hole, super easy, dude. Super easy. It's like, it's like so easy, you know? Like, just, it's, it's very, very easy. Building walls in that big hole and, like, decorating it and putting things in it, that's where it gets, like, tricky because you can't fly early game or you can you can you can't fly for long so you might you might have like the fledgling wings or whatever that have like a 0.6 second flight time right and uh, towards the late game you'll have you know your Mar Martian saucer or your Martian you know car keys or whatever and uh, the speed isn't, you know, that good. It's faster than the fledgling wings, even, but speed isn't, like, super good. Um, but you're able to just fly and just, like, position yourself wherever you want, which is, like, I mean, really, really, really convenient. We'll grab this. Uh, so we will be able to upgrade this to 14, and then this is plus one. Yes, okay, so this is my this is my loadout here. It's a good loadout. Wait, that doesn't, that doesn't make sense to me. Some, something feels wrong there. But I can't tell what. My, uh, there's there's something in my brain that's like, yeah, there's something that doesn't make sense here. I just, I can't tell what. I think I have to not upgrade my Glock. Is is what it is. I think the Glock has to stay unupgraded. Um, anyway. So I'm able to, to go back and start filling in these holes. It's easy to fill them in with blocks early game. It just takes a long time and then it doesn't really look that good. I like, I like putting stuff in it, you know, putting buildings or other farms. You know, I like putting herb farms and mushroom farms and that kind of basic stuff where I need to, to kind of be able to check on it from time to time. Yeah, so this is plus two as so we get to 14. And then this is plus one. So we get to 15. Like. I feel like that shouldn't work because why don't I buy an M1911 in my normal runs, right? That's plus two. I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. <laughs> I'm not really sure what's going on. I, I think I have to not upgrade my Glock, though. I honestly do not know. I honestly do not know. But, uh,. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be nice to get a lot of going to be getting a lot of terraforming done and kind of transforming the world into into my own thing and building you know infrastructure and transportation and, and all this kind of stuff in the in the world. So I'm uh, super duper looking forward to to end game Terraria here. So I've gotten the uh, the early and the mid game pretty much sorted out. I've transitioned over to Summoner now as well. I was playing as a, I was playing a ranger before with the Phantasm, Tsunami, uh, all that, and I've I've since switched over to Summoner because you know what's really really good, what's really really cool, is uh, building and having your dragon kill everything for you, and you don't have to worry about it. It's it's really quite convenient. Yeah, I want to upgrade my deagles. Just to see if I can. I feel like I feel like I'm doing something wrong here. So for for maximum DPS, I probably want to switch back to Ranger or maybe even Melee at this point. Honestly, I'm uh, I'm uh, I'm not sure. Maybe maybe the Melee stuff would be better. I don't know. I don't know. You're still alive. Um. But definitely not Summoner. I don't think that Summoner has the DPS necessary for it. I want to get into some like AFK boss farms as well. Like you can you can summon and kill bosses completely AFK and completely safely. It takes a lot of prep work and a lot of like careful design to to figure out how you're gonna actually kill stuff and then keep your character alive and, and yada yada yada. But I want to I want to start making some of that kind of stuff, you know. I'm not sure what kinds of bosses I can spawn that don't require player input, though. Yeah, like I feel like I can still upgrade this. I don't know. 
Uh, you can spawn King Slime AFK, but that requires a Slime Rain, which doesn't happen very often, and an AFK King Slime uh, is farm is basically just summon a max power dragon, or not even a max power, just, summon, just put on summoner gear and summon a dragon, and you'll kill all the slimes and, and to kill the King Slime. Um, I've, I've killed a couple of them like that, just kind of sitting at, uh, at my base, crafting stuff, and, the, and then a Slime Rain spawns, and the slimes die to the dragon. And then the, the King Slime spawns, and then it dies to the dragon as well. My god, did you hear that? That, like... There was, there was like, some harmony going on there. I don't know, what's, what's the word for that? The, like... Is, is it harmony? Echo? I don't know. It was, it was weird, dude. Um... Yeah, so you, you can kill the King Slime AFK because you can spawn at AFK, but you can't really farm up a Slime Rain so much. Uh, you can farm Skeletron, like normal Skeletron AFK, I believe. Which is cool. That might be my first AFK boss farm, is a Skeletron farm. Just for, just for funsies, you know, just to try out that kind of stuff. Um, my god, they're strong though. I hate bobbles heads. You'd, you'd think it's nice because you get like these big heads to shoot at, but the reality is I don't have trouble shooting heads anyway, so all it is is more health to the Zeds. Um, what else can you spawn AFK? Uh, Plantera, I believe you can spawn AFK. Can I kill Plantera AFK? Probably, yeah. Cause you can you can farm up those bulbs AFK and then break them with actuators or something. That works. Yeah. So I have. Can I do that in the normal game too? I think I can, and I just decided I don't because I never have to use it because the Glock and the decals are enough. I think I've run out of ammo on on one Patriarch fight before too. If you've if you've been watching for that long, I, I believe that's happened once. So maybe I should be buying the M1911. Maybe that's hubris. Perhaps one one might consider it uh, hubris. There, you, you, there's a point there, I suppose. I shall use the big bad warriors, scared of an old man. I'm not scared of nobody. <laughs> Unless you give me a dark map, and then I'm pretty scared of everybody. Um, what else? What else can you? What else can you farm AFK in Ferraria? Ah, uh, Golem maybe with an auto clicker maybe. Maybe. That's a big maybe, though. Because you could farm the power cells AFK. You just have to have some way of verifying that you always have the pair of power cells. It would require a script, and I, I feel like that's getting outside of, like, AFK sort of stuff. I'm fine with doing it. It just, I, I, uh, I don't want to do it, like, just for the sake of doing it. I want to do it because, like, I need this resource, and this is the only way to do it, and I don't want to just stand there with my finger on a button for ten hours. You know? Like with the sand farm, I just... Left my auto-click. Well, I wrote a script to uh, to use the potions and... Use the, the machine and, and fire the stuff and, you know, do all that. Because I, I don't want to just stand there for, you know, 10 hours shooting sand at a wall. That doesn't sound like fun to me. And going and digging in, like, a world for, like, two or three hours. Also, not very fun. So... I just wrote a script for it. I want. I don't want to just cheat it in either. Maybe maybe journey mode would be good for that, but I don't know. I don't know, man. I feel like journey mode's not really necessary. Journey mode lets you get like unlimited resources or something like that. Uh, you have to like give up, you know, a hundred of them, and then you get unlimited. And the the number that you have to give up for for each is different. Um, but I feel like just. It's not necessary. I, I can just build a farm and then just have unlimited everything anyway. It doesn't really matter. 
Um, and that's that's more fun for me. So I don't know. But but maybe with the sand it would be nice. If I could limit the like blocks that I can duplicate in journey mode, that would be cool. I guess maybe. Limit it to just a couple of blocks that I need, like building materials and stuff. Iron ore, perhaps, as well. The, the non-renewables, you know? Make them renewable. Um, but I, uh, I guess you could do Golem with an auto-clicker. You might be able to hoik him around. I know he teleports to you if you can't get him. But you might be able to hoik him around and, uh, and keep him moving. So maybe at that point he thinks he can get to you. He just isn't. He's able to path to you, but the uh, in practice he's not actually able to move because he's getting hoiked. Maybe that keeps him from teleporting. I don't know. What else can you spawn AFK? Moon Lord. Of course, you can spawn the Moon Lord AFK. Just requires you kill the. Uh, cultists and you can do that afk obviously he just uh spawns and then you just kill him it's just a normal enemy so with uh dart traps or something like that spear traps you'd be able to trigger him and then uh, your summons would take care of the rest and you just have to find a way to keep yourself alive and then the pillars pipe part is you know also pretty challenging because you'd have to like build arenas at all the pillars and stuff that would be like a, a world like length project, but it'd be a fun one. I've I've seen it done before in expert mode. I've seen it done before in expert mode. It's probably not a good first project for like an AFK boss farm. It's probably it's probably not a good first. <laughs> you know, it's, it's probably probably not not good for your first try, right? Um. What else can you do? Empress of Lights. You can farm the knight version of her. Well, I guess you could farm the day version as well. Possibly. Because you can only you can only spawn her AFK at night. Well, maybe maybe you could spawn her in the day. You have to like get a lace wing, detect that the lace wing was like obtained store it until daytime hits and then kill it which requires moving the player on it with like because your summons won't chase it so you'd have to use i don't know slime mount or something i guess and then store the lace wing until daytime and then move the player or the lace wing together to have it collide with the bottom of the slime mount maybe and then you'd be able to farm the Empress in the daytime. The problem with that is that the Empress in the daytime is going to one-shot you. So you'd have to build a uh, a circuit on like a minecart maybe. That like takes you around. That Because I believe she's a deterministic fight. She always does the exact same pattern every time. So you could maybe build a minecart. That if you ride it at maximum speed. Or like at whatever speed you end up at, you know, you don't have to necessarily limit yourself to maximum speed, I guess. But uh, at whatever speed, you know, you can maybe build a minecart track where if you just ride it, you can't get hit. I, I, I guess it could maybe be possible since it's a deterministic fight. There's not really any randomness; it's always the same thing. But uh, at nighttime, she doesn't one shot just. So you'd be able to farm her nighttime version with I don't know. Heart statues, <laughs> just to heal yourself with. You have to like trigger them in a specific way, so that they don't uh, get crowded, and you're still able to continue spawning them. But I guess I guess an Empress of Light AFK farm would be pretty doable. How would you detect a, a lace wing spawning? I don't know, pressure plates maybe. I think that the only one wide thing in the hollow, in the surface hollow. So everything else you'd be able to sort out. Now that's bullet time. Have him go over a pressure plate, detect it, store it, wait until daytime, kill it. Maybe they despawn. I 
I don't know. I don't know. Probably not a good first project either. Skeletron's probably the good first project. I think you can spawn him AFK. You'd have to kill the clothier. The clothier. And then, uh... Kill Skeletron, or kill Skeletron, and then wait for the Clothier to come back, kill Skeletron again, and repeat. Could probably be done. I don't know, because you have to like equip a voodoo doll or whatever in your inventory. I don't know if that disappears after you kill him. If it does, then you can't do it AFK, I guess, but... That'd probably be a better first try than, uh, than, than like, plant... Well, I don't know, plant terror could be good, too. Spawning her would be pretty easy. Killing her would be a little bit tricky, but I think it'd be doable. I don't know. I'd like to get into making some of those AFK boss farms. Because I see I see videos of them from time to time. They're just like... I, to me... My god, that's loud. To me, it's like uh, the pinnacle of Terraria automation. People make all kinds of crazy stuff. You know, computers and LEDs and teleporter grids and, and, and you know all this kind of stuff but I don't really care so much for the um like creative side of the automation you know what I mean like like I don't really care about seven segment displays and, and this and that you know Terraria doesn't have enough space for that to really interest me but the worlds are just too small even the largest world is, is just too small for me to be like, yeah, I'm willing to have all the stuff I want, which is, you know, all of the farms for all of the resources to be able to do what I want whenever I want. And then also have all this kind of stuff. I can make another world for it, but I don't know. It's just... I want, I want bigger Terraria worlds <laughs> is really what it is. You know, like, segment it into chunks, right? Heck, just make it so when I go from, like... You know, one one side, like if I go to the west side of the world, the west ocean, right? I'm at the west ocean, and I go to the other side of the ocean. It just takes me to another world at the right side. You know, the oceans just like connect. You know, like, I don't care. Do that. <laughs> just, just make the... Get like smoother transition than, than like, you know, leaving a world and then joining back into a different world. Cause it's just a little bit, it's a little bit too much for me to be willing to, uh, to like do that for, for like a lot of things. I have a couple of uh, extra worlds, but I like to have generally speaking a uh, pre-hard mode world as well. Some things are a little bit easier to farm on pre-hard mode, like, uh, worm food or not worm food. Well, worm food, yes, but you don't really need to farm worm food. Um, but the rotten chunks that you would use in worm food are also used in the mechanical worm, which is, you know, just better. Um, and those those rotten chunks are a lot easier to get pre-hard mode. So I'd, I'd like to, to have that. Because uh, just stuff just dies faster pre-hard mode, you know? Like once you get into hard mode, everything gets stronger and they don't die as quickly and so they live longer. And the primary issue with uh, with farms in any game really when you're building a, a farm is typically a game is gonna have a, a maximum number of mobs that can be alive at any given time you know like Minecraft is 70 per player I believe Terraria is five on screen at any point uh, and then you can have like bonuses to that with the water candles and uh, battle potions and and all this kind of stuff uh, they, they affect it um, but, uh, you know, they, they, they still, so, so, okay, I, 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 I forgot where I was going with this. So you have, uh, you have a maximum number of mobs that can be alive, right? So your, your primary thing is mitigating the time they spend alive so that you can free up that space for other mobs to spawn, right? So the faster you're killing them, the faster they can respawn the more stuff you're getting out of your farm. That hap that's, you know, a common theme in 
pretty much any game where you're building farms. Very few are going to let you just spawn endless numbers of them. Unless you have like a, a spawner in Minecraft or uh, in Terraria, I believe you could maybe do it with like invasions or something. I'm not sure. Um, but you want to make sure that, uh, that you're killing stuff quickly, so being in an easier world where they have less life and they die quicker helps reduce that uh, time till death. I mean, the average time till death of, uh, of each individual mob. And that just ends up giving you more resources per, per hour. So, pre hard mode farms are better for some stuff. Still don't have any of it because I did a lot of pre hard mode farming in this world. So I have, I have ample resources anyway. And the farms still work, they're just like not as quick. But, uh... I don't know. What I, what I really like is like a mod. I really want mods in 1.4, honestly. Because uh, one gripe I have with Terraria largely is the storage is just like not very good. It's just, it's really frustrating working with Terraria storage. Just because like... You get, you know, a bunch of chests together. And you, you put stuff in each chest and you, you quick stack them. That's great. That's wonderful. It's lovely, okay? Now, what happens when you take the items out? You can't, like, you know, take all but one, leave one behind. Like, that's not an option, right? Like, you have to take all of them and then manually put one back in. Uh, or your quick stack won't work and you have to, next time you come back, open up the chest and put it away manually. That's annoying to me. Uh, I wish I could leave one behind automatically or have like designated spots for items in chests, you know, like that kind of stuff would be really, really nice to have. Uh, or if I could do the opposite of quick stock, quick stack and uh, like pull items from, from the chests, you know, you can only push, you can't really pull. I think you can restock. Um, so you, you can pull items that you have in your inventory out of the nearby chests, but if you don't have wires in your inventory, you have to like go searching through your chest to find wires. Which, you know, if you have a designated chest for it, that's fine. It's just, it's just, it's a little bit annoying. Because uh, oftentimes I'm bad, and I put stuff in the wrong chest. Like one item, you know, like one item of, of wire will end up in the wrong chest. And then I'll come back from building, and I'll quick stack, and it'll go into that chest. And I won't know, because I don't know what chest all my quick stack stuff went into. And then later on, I'm trying to pull out wire, and I go to my wire chest, you know? And it's not there, and I have to go through all of my chests, one by one, to be like, what the heck, where did it go? It's annoying. So, there's like a... Good water, man. There's like a uh, magic storage mod or something like that. Which is really, really nice to have. You suck. Um. So it's just, it's yeah, it's just annoying. I'd like to get the mods updated, but you know, I don't know. I don't know. I think they're like twenty percent of the way to uploading T mod loader at the moment, which is not close enough for me, to be honest. How's the uh, the Minecraft server coming? You ask. How's the Minecraft server coming? She shoots, she kills. It's coming. It's getting set up today. I don't know if we're gonna be playing today. Oh God, please. I don't know if we'll be playing today, but it is getting set up today. Um. So we'll be able to play today, I just I don't know if we will. Because we're, we're in the talks of if we want to have like a collaboration for the first episode, if we want to kind of like make that all happen or whatever, you know. Come on. That's not good. That's, that's really, really bad. Yeah, okay, so we're dead. Yeah. We put up a good fight. Just, uh, I really should have been using the Glock more. And the deagle's less. I paid the price. I paid the price. 
The Glock for clearing and the Deagles. I, th I thought I'd be able to make it, but... Looks like wave 28, the boom. That was just a little bit... I, sh I should have I should have known after the last wave when I had to use the Glock at the end. Should have known. But... That's okay. That's okay. Survivalist is getting up there. We'll, we'll max prestige that some day. It's level 16 and we have... It's, it's level 16, almost 17. We haven't touched it. <laughs> Oh, it's great. You don't you don't you don't get the prestige bonus either because you're not actually playing it. <laughs> it's great. I love it. Anyway, that's gonna do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.